Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. We're in the greenhouse today and we're only getting caught up. It's about the last week of April and I'm starting to film again. I took a first part of the month off. That's from the videos that you've been watching have been kind of back, back in March. So we're getting ready to do April now. And the reason being is because we were quite busy. I took the first week of, eight of April off because it was Easter and our son was visiting. And then we got our high speed internet. So the next week was taken up mainly with upgrading our security system and finishing in the greenhouse as far as getting the embeds done and putting up the lights and getting the hose water in here so that we can water and stuff. So it's a lot of little things that are easy to do but they take time. So now we're back and I'm trying to get the rest of the garden in here planted. And I'm going to do everything except for the peppers and the tomatoes. And the only reason I'm not doing those is because they're not hardened off yet. I only have so much room outside and we had a really hard week last week of low temperatures where it got into the freezing so I couldn't put anything out to harden off so I'm going to work on hardening off my tomatoes and my peppers this week so I, they can go into the ground uh, on the 1st of May but this is what we're going to do today I'll move you down here so you can see what we're going to be working on we've got all those little plants that we're going to be putting there's some um, celery the cabbage the broccoli, the cauliflower, and the Brussels sprouts, and a couple onions that I found outside that I had winter sowed. Not really that sowed on the winter sowed. That tray was sowed really thick, and I only got like four little onions up. So I'm just going to stick them in the ground over there. So, this is where we're going to put those. It's on the north side, which means it's going to have a little bit of shade because these are cool weather crops and they like cool weather. So by the time the tomatoes get tall, they're going to shut, put a sh shadow over the um, lettuces and the onions and possibly the um, code crops that we're going to plant over here. You notice I've got a weed barrier down. I've got a string across. That's to help me with the, the um, measurements on how far I'm going to put them. And I'm going to put them an in, a foot apart once I get started. Alright, so that's the plan for today. So we're going to just lay them out first as to where we want them. And I'm going to start with my... Um, broccoli. Just gonna put them out. I'll come back and I'll measure 12 inches. But right now it's just approximate. Celery's going to go here into this bed. I'm going to put the cabbages here. Oh, some nice breeze coming through. Yeah. 
should be some reversal strats. This is the first year that I've done anything in this garden. It's going to be an experiment as to what works and what doesn't work. What I'm, getting, what I'm planning on doing is staggering these. So they're not on top of each other. Looks like it may have to go 18 inches.
that's where I'm going to put them. So now it's a matter of just cutting an X where I want to put them. I put them in the ground. Okay, we've got everything in. We've got them labeled. And you can see the things I planted earlier are doing really well. The only thing that hasn't come up is the um, bunching onions. The onion seeds I planted. The uh, rocket. And the uh, mix. But both of those were older seeds. And the blood, um, both blood beets they haven't come up too well but those are all older seeds but the important thing to do after you get everything in is to water it completely and that's what we're going to do now Sure that these cool weather crops do not get too hot. 
so that I bought. I got a thermometer on order, which should be here next week, that will notify me when the temperature gets above a certain degree or below a certain degree, so I know when to come out and roll the uh, shades and when to uh, cover them in the if there's a frost warning. Right now I'm watering about every two days. I'm sure as it gets warmer I'll have to water more often. The celery I planted in here, I put nine per square foot. First year I've tried celery. First try it, year I've done the onions by seeds. These are the starts I bought. These are the seeds I made. And these are seeds I just planted just in the ground to see what they would do. First time I've tried garlic. Uh, first time I've tried the Brussels sprouts. So we're trying things new this year. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun watching it. And hopefully we'll get caught back up and I'll be filming them more often. And uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit the bell icon. They'll tell you when I'm on, when I'm on next. And as always, dream big and follow that dream. Bye.